Hey YouTube, uh, making a video on how to um, fly a jet. So first things first, you might want to uh, get one first. Well, uh, once you get one, fly up into the air, turn on your afterburners, that's what I recommend. Um, flying in third person kind of helps. Um, when your enemy, like what just happened, uh, when your enemy turns like that, um, you get a perfect shot. I missed my shot right here. Um, where the jet goes up and um, shows his belly to you <coughs> or his back um, that's perfect you put a lead on it and you shoot when you shoot it'll put some bad damage on him um, when you put bad damage it's really good you could disable them and if they don't have an extinguisher they're pretty much done um, they can fall down and they can get overwhelmed and blow themselves up like he did um, <coughs> when you're flying you can do many tricks. Um, I recommend having your afterburners on most of the time. You could uh, get out of bad, um, uh, bad situations. Um, if you turn like I am right now, that is pretty bad. Um, do not do that. If you slow down and turn or go up, you can get shot down like I just taught you in the first minute. Um, what you really want to do is kind of sabotage their uh, vehicles, and when you sabotage their vehicles, it's pretty, pretty hard for them to leave. Um, I sabotage the wrong vehicle. Uh, when this is laser guided, laser guided uh, missiles. With these, <laughs> they're pretty awesome for uh, any land vehicles moving around. Um, the little tiny ones, one shot, one kill little jeeps and uh, tanks take quite a few shots um, as in, as you're gonna see in a few seconds um, I'm actually gonna blow up with that little tiny jeep uh, that uh, jeep is uh, my uh, brother is driving in and he's gonna yeah one shot gone he's dead um, it's easy to use those to slow yourself down if there's no air support in the air um, like jets or helicopters, make sure there's nothing around. Um, it's good to like, go up a little higher and slow yourself down. Look down. It's zoomed in a little bit, so don't freak out. Try to go in third person when you're using this and fly. It's kind of hard uh, to not do that. But uh, when you do this, um, it's pretty uh, easy once you get the hang of it. At first, I thought it was hard, but it's pretty easy. Um, as you can see, uh, brothers in a helicopter a lot of the helicopters now have uh let me just pull himself up a lot of the helicopters now <clears throat> have like a lot of people have the heat seekers for them and uh when they have the heat seekers it's really easy for them to kill you so i would just have flares on you or ecm jammer i'll show you what those are in a few seconds um When you get in a jet, uh, one more time, when you fly up, you have to have uh, heat seekers to do this. Um, when you have the heat seekers, uh, there's a good strategy to use it, <coughs> how to use it. Um, find air support, it's good to have. Uh, it's a lot easier to kill them. Um, um, what you're going to see in a second is me locking on to one. Uh, I have air radar so it's easier for me to see any air support. Air radar is the best one you can have. Um, it also comes with under radar and uh, when you're in the under radar it blocks you out and uh, when you're uh, blocked out of the map like it's harder for the planes to lock onto. They can't lock onto you at all and um, when you do that uh, planes will just sometimes leave you alone but if they see you they're gonna follow you um, it's hard hard to uh, leave them alone but okay, when you're doing this and they have flares or ECM jammer shoot one missile when you're locked on they'll deploy their flares shoot another one and shoot that second one it's gonna hit them and when it hits them lock onto them still and when it deploys your other missiles 
shoot another missile, he'll deploy his flares again, you shoot another one, and he'll get hit again. Do the process until he gets disabled or destroyed. <coughs> um, sometimes they get overwhelmed, they don't care, they just crash. And when they crash, it's all over. Um, just wait for another jet or sabotage jets. And, um, which is pretty good. It's easy, you just slow down and uh, go up to any vehicle, any of their vehicles, and just straighten out your shot, shoot them down. Um, uh, when you can see them easily on the air radar. Maintenance sucks. I do not recommend having maintenance on. You can also have beam scanning. Beam scanning is, uh, you won't have your air radar. It takes over your air radar. Not really helpful, but <clears throat> it is helpful when you have laser guided missiles or the heat seekers. It locks on to the vehicle a lot faster and it's more accurate, I believe. And when you lock on quickly, it'll be easier for you. Um, what I do recommend with the jet is slow down to a stop. That is a death sentence. Um, I've done that a few times and it sucks. You have to jump out of your jet. But when you crash, I, w I would say before you crash, it's not going to show it in this video, but when you crash, um, before you crash into the ground, jump out last second if they have, if they disable your vehicle. It doesn't give them the enemy kill, it just gives them the destruction of the vehicle and um, the disabling of the vehicle, which is 150 points. Um, when they kill you, it's 250. Uh, it's really easy to land a jet. <clears throat> You just slow down, slow down, and then land it. There's really no use of landing a jet, really. Um, I just practiced on doing it just for the heck of it. Uh, when, I mean, if you're playing by yourself with your friend, you can land it, you can fix it up, get back into it, fly away. But if you're in the middle of a full so server, it does not make a difference. You're just going to get shot by the jet that's following you. Um... And what you just saw there, do not spin in the middle of the map. I was just making a demonstration on what people would do with their jets. It makes other people really mad because they want their jets to be serious and not to uh, crash into the battlefield. A lot of people use that as transport. They get into it and people will be waiting their whole entire game to get it. And they'd fly up, fly into the battlefield, jump out, and just parachute down. It's not the best idea. You get people raging, you most likely get kicked, depending on the server. Um, what you just saw there is rocket pods. Rocket pods, uh, pretty helpful if you slow yourself down there and, and there's like a tank or something out like right in the middle of nowhere, um, like right in the open, you can just sit there and shoot all your missiles at them and it does a lot of damage, more damage than the laser guided missile. Um, it's a, a lot easier sometimes. And it's, it's actually, you get more of a chance of destroying um, uh, enemies, enemy units, like actual walking people down there, snipers, um, chain gun is not really easy, and I don't recommend going this close, because those light poles seem to kill you all the time. They're indestructible compared to a tree. Um, uh, we just destroyed that whole building, but I do recommend using rocket pods if you want to destroy people individually. Alright guys, this is for um, the rocket pods. I know I said this earlier, but let's just put some more information on it. Um, for rocket pods, <coughs> I am going to take out a tank with it, show you how good it is. I'll end up crashing before I blow it up, but it gets disabled. Um, trying to find the tank. Oh, there it is. Um, if you want to, I recommend clicking the select button or the back button on Xbox and PS3 
uh, when you click on those, it locks on to them, like it spots them, and it will show them to the whole entire your whole entire team. They won't know it, but we will. We will see the orange. I lock on to like spot them right now. Um, it's an orange, um, kind of like a tank. It shows a tank with a star. Uh, show that it's pretty easy to spot them everywhere. They can be driving in the middle of the map. Find them, blow them up. That's it. That easy. All right, guys. This is all the attachments for the uh, jet. Um, first things first. Stealth. Stealth is uh, it really helps you um, against people with rocket launchers that lock on, and uh, jets and helicopters that lock on to you. It takes a longer time to lock on. IR flares. <coughs> they help you um, to dodge missiles. The rocket pods lock on to people, as you've seen from previous. Belt speed helps reload faster. Um, the extinguisher puts out your fire if you get disabled. The rocket pods, you've already had a good explanation on that. Proximity scan, proximity scan like scans low ground um, for your enemy units. And ECM jammer puts you off the radar. It uh, helps you like hear. If you hear the little ringing noise, um, I'd recommend using it right off. The guided missile scene. Maintenance, I do not recommend. Do not use maintenance. Beam scanning, you've seen. Locks on faster, easier, better. Um, that'd be about all. Air radar, it has under radar. Uh, best thing you can have. I do recommend air radar. Use air radar. <coughs> Helps you so much. Um, when you first start out, IR flares, probably easy. I would try getting good. It'll take you a while. Trust me, you're not going to be good right off. You're going to have to practice. It took me about two weeks to be pretty decent at jets. Don't be all angry because it's going to take you a while. Alright guys, uh, testing out my uh, skills in doing this. Um, this is a full server, uh, an actual jet flyer I'm fighting against. He's going to start shooting me up and uh, I'm going to survive. Um, I'm not going to be blowing him up because it's one of these guys who spin in circles, play Ring Around the Rosie with you. It makes me pretty mad, but if you keep on playing the same game with them, they don't like it. And sometimes they'll just leave and then that's a perfect chance for you to get right behind them. Do not like tr stay behind them the whole time. Slow yourself down a little bit so you have some distance between. But if you stay behind them, you'll always stay behind them. It, get them on the screen, he'll be on your screen. This guy couldn't really get on my screen, so I couldn't really do anything. He got on my screen right there, but he turned around last second, couldn't find him. Um, played Ring on the Rosie. Oh, that's all we did, and we just spun in circles. I tried shooting him right there. Had my rocket pods out, bad choice. I probably should have had my chain gun out. I would have killed him, or at least hurt him a little bit. But we just spun in circles. He um, He's a level like 50 almost, um, level 50 colonel and I'm only a level 24 so since I'm a level 24 I have all the attachments I have air radar I have a ECM jammer I have all the attachments like he does so I have the same skill level as him and I'm only a level 24 and he's about 100 ranks higher than me so um, you can be this good I started at level 14 about a week and a half two weeks ago and I ranked up 10 times so not that hard you can just keep on practicing. I recommend practicing, so good luck and have a nice day.